Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be discussing the stablecoin supply ratio oscillator. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Here is the stablecoin supply ratio. Okay, so this is what is known as the stablecoin supply ratio. If you're not familiar with it, it is the equal to Bitcoin's market cap divided by the stablecoin market cap. So it can be equivalently, interp equivalently interpreted to be the ratio of Bitcoin supply and stablecoin supply denoted in Bitcoin. So basically, it just tells you the buying power, right? It tells you the stablecoin buying power and estimate its potential move, its potential to move the price of Bitcoin. Now, when you look at this within the Bollinger Bands, the Bollinger Bands, what you'll see is that there can be periods where it goes outside of the upper band, just like in 2019, just like in 2021, and just like we've seen it a couple of times this year and where it is currently. What's interesting is if you if you look at it in terms of an oscillator between these bands, this is what it looks like. Now, historically, what has happened, right? Like, so in 2019, you can see that we went to the same level in May of 2019 that we did in March 2023. And we also went to an even higher level in 2021. What's fascinating is that just a few weeks ago, we went to a new high on the stablecoin supply ratio oscillator than we've seen it go ever before. And now it has faded since then, right? It has faded since then, but it is still a relatively high level. Because if you look at this, I mean, it's called an oscillator because the idea is that it oscillates between a fairly well-defined range, the upper part of the range being somewhere between three and four, which is where it is right now or where it was. It actually went above four for the first time. But again, somewhere in this range between three to four tends to mark the highs for the stablecoin supply ratio oscillator. And then somewhere below negative two tends to mark the lows. Now, if you overlay Bitcoin's market cap on here, what you'll see is that oftentimes when it goes to that three to four level, it doesn't actually mark the high in price, right? Sometimes, oftentimes the actual price high occurs while the stablecoin supply ratio oscillator is coming back down, as you can see in 2019. And also, as you can see in 2021, right, like the actual high occurred at 42K for the SSRO, but then the price of Bitcoin went much higher than 42K in this distribution phase. So that's an interesting thing to look at. And we talked about the same idea back over here earlier in the year. So the first peak, we said, OK, it could easily go higher than that. Um, and then we actually got a spike even higher. And then as it faded, the price of Bitcoin just pushed a little bit higher up to around 31K. And then it started to bleed and it went back down below zero. And then we just got another spike all the way up to higher than it's ever gone before. So, you know, if there is a more substantial pullback within the you know coming months, I mean, assuming there will be a pullback at some point, could be interesting to see, you know, does it actually go back all the way down to the lows as an oscillator or does it keep rebounding around the zero line? That should be something to pay attention to, I, I think, on the next on the next major pullback in the market is, is does it hold kind of where it held last time or does it actually go back all the way down to these prior lows? And you can see that back in the in the summer lull of 2021, you can see that it came all the way down to about negative 2.7, which is close to where it was back in in March of 2020. Very similar in December 2018 and also very similar in June of 2022. So while they don't often, they don't always mark the low, right? We did go lower in 2022. We did go lower here in 2021 before it rebounded. It does mark a, a generally good eye, a good area to get into the market when it does go below negative two. And anyways, we're going to keep it short. Again, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And again, check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Links in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.